In version 2.1, we have some improvements for recipes, especially for the workflow and the overview. Let's have a look at two of them. First of all, we have a new setting which is called recipe template. This recipe template functionality will load the recipe directly in the programmer and cook the values there. Let's have a look at an example. So what you can see here in my color preset pool is a recipe with a red fade. So let's have a look what this does. We select the preset, we bring the fixtures to full, press it again and you can see the red fades in from the left to the right. And this is built as a recipe. What we can do now is to go to the edit settings and we select a new button we can see over there which is called recipe template. When we activate this and we close this we select the preset directly. You can first of all see that we have a new symbol here which is a pot with an open lid so this means we will use the recipe and bring it to the programmer directly. So see what happens we press the preset and in the programmer parts window you can see that there is the recipe in there. If we bring the fixtures to full now, we can already see that they are red. So the red fade is already done. What is the advantage with this now? We can take this programmer values and store it directly to a sequence. We clear the programmer and have a look at this sequence. And in the sequence, we will see that this recipe is directly stored as a recipe line in the queue. So the recipe is taken from the programmer and then directly stored as a recipe line in the queue. This can help to speed up your workflow dramatically. What else can we do with the recipes? We were talking about overview and overview is dramatically improved now in 2.1 where you can really distinguish between values which are coming from recipes instead of values which are directly and manually stored into the queue. Where can we see this? In the track sheet. So we enable the track sheet in our sequence and have a look at the different values here. What you can see here is that the dimmer value, which is open, is directly stored in the queue. So this doesn't come from the recipe and in this case there is no indicator. What you can see for the red value, which is coming from our recipe line over there, is a small green indicator here which tells you that this value comes from a recipe. So now you can really distinguish between values which are manually stored and values coming from the recipe for a better overview in your track sheet.